Top five ghosts caught on camera. The Crescent Hotel. The Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas is said to be one of the most haunted hotels in the U.S. In 1937, a former magician named Norman G. Baker bought the building and set it up as a treatment hospital for terminally ill patients. But here's the thing. Norman G. Baker was not a doctor. In fact, he had no medical training whatsoever. While under the fraudulent care of Norman Baker's pretend hospital, hundreds of patients, men, women, and children, lost their lives. Cut to modern day, the Crescent now operates as a hotel, and with its dark history, it attracts many supernatural investigators and curiosity seekers. A Crescent Hotel guest caught this video while recording in her hotel room. Girls trip. Most haunted hotel in America and my nightstand on We've the creepy door is my eyes just so like, early home. bedtime looking for ghosts. Now at first watch it probably just looks like a casual video. But then watch when the video is slowed down. Early bedtime looking for ghosts. Something seems to run by the bed, so fast that it's barely noticeable. It looks like a little girl just ran right in front of the camera. But there is no little girl in the room with them. And more importantly, there's nowhere to run. So just what is this? Let me know what you think. Did you see it? YouTuber Eric Gunner is an urban explorer and occasional paranormal investigator from Mexico. In one of his videos, Eric claims that a girl named Natalie contacted him about some very strange activity in her home. Natalie, who appears in the video with a teddy bear face concealing her identity, says that her mother recently rented the upstairs apartment in their house to an elderly woman. Natalie says that as soon as the woman moved in, strange things started occurring in their home. They would hear odd noises in the middle of the night. They would find random things move from one room to the other and they would often smell an unexplained foul stench coming from upstairs. Weirdest of all, cats and dogs in the neighborhood began disappearing. As for the old lady, her behavior was odd to say the least. She avoided all contact with Natalie and her family. The woman didn't say hello or even talk to them when they passed her on the stairs. If they knocked on her door, she wouldn't answer. Natalie and her family became more and more terrified as the odd noises and events in their house intensified. Then one night, Natalie's 10-year-old sister woke up screaming, saying that her back was in agonizing pain. They checked her and found that her back was covered in deep, unexplained scratches. Well, with that, they had had enough. Without even so much as packing a bag, they fled the house in the middle of the night. As of the filming of this video, they had not been back for two weeks. So, Natalie knew about Eric Gunner's YouTube channel. She asked him to investigate. De hecho, si apago la luz, la casa de arriba está prendida. Ahí es donde vive la viejita. Voy a tratar de hacer ruido para que no me vaya a escuchar. Fíjense que a mí me da más miedo la viejita que, no sé, me vaya a parecer un fantasma o algo así. It's fairly obvious that Natalie and her family left in a rush. Se supone que así como dijo ella y esta Natalie pues se fueron de rápido ese día. No recogieron nada. Dijo, pues sí me dijo que iba a haber incluso esta comida. Hasta frijoles aquí. Ay, huele muy feo, parece como están enlamados. At first it seems like there's not much to see. Just an average empty house. But then things start to get a little strange. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. Did you see it? Well, Eric didn't either, but watch again. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. YouTube commenters pointed out that it looks like a small girl dressed in all white briefly peeks out from behind a curtain. Again, I should note, the house is supposedly empty. Oh, 
Eric spots a doll that seems to be a bit out of place. Little did he know that after the filming, the house's owner would tell him that the doll doesn't belong to them and they've never seen it. But even creepier, later in the video, Eric passes by the same room again. Open the... Did you see it? As YouTube commenters would later point out, the doll has now vanished. Eric heads into the bedroom to investigate, and this is when things get truly bizarre. Aquí parece que se puede subir por aquí, pero está como sellado. ¿Qué pedo está esta casa rara? ¿Dónde está construida raro? ¿Qué es esto? And once again, I have to ask, did you see it? Something ducks out of sight under the bed. Again, Eric doesn't notice. This too was spotted later by YouTube viewers. ¿Qué pedo? Veo que se mueve más. Vamos a ver. Eric gathers his courage and heads back in to check out the curtain. It didn't go well. As he rounds the corner, a shadowy figure ducks back into the corner of the room. This time, Eric does see it. No sé qué. No sé qué pensar, la verdad, si sí, estoy. Ya tengo miedo. Ya no sé si salimos o no. No hubiera venido solo. ¿Saben qué? Si no hubiera venido solo, la cagué bien cabrón. No hubiera venido solo. He heads in to check it out, but nothing there. With this, Eric has had enough. He decides to just get out of there. But that might not be as easy as he thinks. Someone in a cloak, presumably the creepy old lady who lives there, comes walking up the stairs. Eric hides until the coast is clear, then quickly makes his escape out to the street. <laughs> so did Eric Gunner catch multiple paranormal encounters on video? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Eric Gunner's full investigation of this supposedly haunted house over on his YouTube channel. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Tease claims that he was hanging out at his house late one night when the door handle of his room just started randomly shaking as if someone was trying to open the door. He grabbed his phone and started recording. Bro, what? Bro, what? Bro. T says he lives in a very old house, 
dating back to the late 1800s, but he says he's never experienced anything like this before. TikTok user Travis says he works in a movie theater, and late each night, after everyone has left, he has to check the empty theater. So uh, I work in a movie theater, and we, uh, we have to check the theaters at night. You know, once you're done closing as an usher, you just flash the camera. You gotta check the door, and then you have to check behind these curtains just to make sure no hobos are back here. You know, no one's back here. And then you just go and... What the f***? Travis goes to investigate the strange figure in the projection booth. I just saw somebody up here, and it's the scariest shit I've ever seen, dude. Like. I'm like, I was just down here and I was back down there in that corner right there. And I literally just like, can't, what the, what the f Did you see it? Travis spots some strange dark shape peeking from behind a piece of equipment in the projection booth. And I literally just like, can't, what the, what the f Now, as with all TikTok videos, this one ends rather abruptly, leaving the viewer to wonder exactly what happened next. Is this a TikTok theater ghost? are just a TikTok hoax. You decide. Now this next TikTok video is fairly compelling. It's a video by TikTok user Lewis R. Now the thing is, Lewis R is a very successful TikToker. He has almost 1 million followers based solely on his comedic sketch videos. So he has no reason to fake a supernatural video to try to gain views. But on this night, he says things got a little bizarre. All right, so the video you're about to see is very, uh, it's very scary because this literally just happened five minutes ago. So I was just downstairs shooting a skit, uh, and this kid's toy decides that, you know, right now is a perfect time to go off. And I said, nah, you see, you see, like, that's crazy. How about you? You don't do that, my guy. So, you know, I squared up to the ghost. I started eating. <clears throat> Boy, make that go off again if you want these hands. I said, make it go off again if somebody's there. Um. <laughs> I was just trying to let you out, my doggy. Why the demons always got to come get me? Now, you see, I left out the part where I pooped myself right here. This part wasn't in the video, but I said, say less, my guy. Say less, I'm out, we don't got problems, I'm going to sleep right now. Considering that Lewis laughs off the incident, and again, considering that Lewis has no need to fake a video to gain followers, I have to say that I believe this video is real. But just to be clear, I am in no way saying the events recorded were paranormal or supernatural in nature. This could have easily just been a glitching child's toy or maybe even dying batteries. But what do you think? Is this event supernatural or just a toy malfunction? Let me know. Caught on camera. Over on the YouTube channel Really Haunted, a guy named Lee says that his house is, well, really haunted. He set up a series of cameras around his home to capture the frequent paranormal occurrences. And Lee has caught even more intense footage in his kitchen. As you can see, the paranormal activity in Lee's kitchen is pretty extreme, but perhaps the most terrifying capture of all 
comes from the house's living room, recorded late one night while Lee was asleep on the couch. Lee says these spooky incidents have become a common occurrence in his home. But is this real paranormal activity caught on camera? You decide. By the way, you can see more of Lee's captures over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted, where he posts frequent spooky updates. Get out. Sakra El Masri is a ghost hunter from Egypt. In this video, he is exploring an old abandoned house that is said to have been the site of occult rituals by the former owner. يلا نبدأ ونقول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يلا بينا. As Sakura begins to explore, things get weird right away. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر مخالق. He sees a shadow crossed by a doorway and chases after it, but nothing there. Sakura then begins to hear noises that sound like heavy objects being thrown all around him. And it seems like he might not be alone. Some shadowy thing seems to be following him as he explores. And it becomes very obvious that this thing doesn't want him there. Whatever spirit or jinn that might inhabit the house, it seems to be getting much more aggressive. Bismillah. This time, whatever's thrown actually hits Sakura, and he decides that he's had about enough. He takes the voice's advice and just gets out. So is this an angry jinn calling to Sakura al Masri from the shadows? Or is it just a hoax? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. To submit or suggest videos, email me at nukestop5 at gmail.com and follow me on Twitter at nukestop5 where I just kind of jabber on about mostly meaningless things. See you next week.